Nadia Hall, dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to welcome you to the second virtual Sino German job fair in China, which we again organize in close cooperation with the Alumni Portal Deutschland. My name is Dr. Oliver Prüfer and I'm the Vice General Manager as well as the head of the Human Resources Department of the German Industry and Commerce in Beijing. Our regular, regular on-site job fair um, was held successfully on the 23rd of April in Kempinski Hotel in Beijing. But today we will not meet in the hotel, but we will meet online and we will explore the fascinating opportunities offered by a first-class high-tech virtual job fair platform. Many thanks also to UbiVent, which provides us with this uh, outstanding technology. This job fair is the second one. We had one already uh, two years ago, and it is an exciting experience that we all can benefit from. As an exhibiting company, you can get into contact with interesting candidates, and as a candidate, you have the opportunity to present yourself and in the best case, to even find your dream job. Whatever the outcome will be, we will all learn a lot. And for this reason, I prepared a little presentation and uh, we can go through it uh, together now. So your dream job and how to apply for it. So this is a little bit what I'm going to present. It's about the job, about advertisement, application letter, CV and job interview. So we start with the beginning. So whatever you want to do, you have to ask yourself, what is the best job for yourself? Because um, only you can decide about what is really fitting with you and your personality and your skills. So you should ask yourself, what do I like very much? What am I interested in? And especially on what experiences can I build? Because only if something is built on interest and experience, uh, can really motivate you. At the beginning is normally the job advertisement. So also here on our virtual job fair, you will see a lot of job advertisements if you go to the booths and click on them and have a look at the interesting jobs that are offered. So read it carefully. It's the question. The job advertisement is the question and everything you do in your application is the answer. The best case, the job advertisement and your whole application fit very, very well together. So you are kind of the answer to the question of the job. So if you read through job advertisements, try to focus on certain points that are encircled here. And then you can easily find out whether it is worth to get into contact. So here are some examples. If you see it's a German company, quality control, global team, you can check if you have these experiences. So to summarize this, read the job description very carefully and also um, try to understand what are the skills, what is the social situation, in what kind of team, how big, what languages are required and also where is the job located. The application letter, we don't need it today, but later on you will also apply for other jobs. So just a very short brief hint to insert something in your application letter. Try to insert your address, try to uh, design it a little bit nicely, try to write the name of the position, otherwise the recruiter does not understand for um, what kind of position you are applying. So take a little bit care of it and also if they ask, provide a range of a salary expectation. What do you want to achieve with a cover letter? So the cover letter, this application letter, is something to create interest, to show motivation, and also that you understand the challenges of this specific job. You are the solution. No? That's Again, you are so, so the solution to the challenge of the company. So please create trust and already give some examples. We can come to the CV. Oh, maybe some of you have brought the CV. You also um, can send the CV to the company later if the company is interested in you after chatting. So the CV should be structured in a bit, uh, in a way that it's easy to read and that is also a little bit fun to read. 
So um, try to design it a little bit nicely and please insert a professional photo, a photo of a professional photographer. It is a lot um, that you can already distinguish yourself from others because most of the CVs have no photo or they have very awful photos done by the mobile phone or by um, someone who does not know how to take, take pictures. So please invest this. If you write your CV, structure it and uh, give a little bit information also about the companies that you have been working for. Otherwise, the recruiters will not understand what company it was, so then they cannot know um, in what field you have your experiences. So provide a photo, structure your, your CV well, and always try to put yourself in the shoes of the recruiter, because the recruiter wants to have someone who can basically already do the job, someone who is the best fit. Be specific, give some information about your uh, positions, about your roles, but don't write too long. So um, that's the right, uh, the right balance. And one thing, very important, be confident, but do not lie. Don't write that you have done a certain position if you haven't done this, because recruiters will, will find out. The order, here is a, a recommendation. You can start with your personal information and a photo, your work experience, your academic background, your languages and other skills. That's a good order for a CV. Do not forget if you send things to the recruiters, please put everything in one small size PDF file. Because otherwise, if you send uh, five, seven, eight, or 29 PDF files, the recruiters have to save them one by one and they don't like it. So just uh, make their life a little bit easier and um, just provide everything in one PDF file. If you mention the person who can give a reference and who can talk uh, how good you have worked in a certain position, make sure that this person knows about it. So please ask this person beforehand and make sure that this person can say something positive about you. So this can then be very, very helpful if you do that. So you can name in your CV someone who can give a reference. So if it comes to the job interview, prepare well. You should be informed about the company. Be sure to be on time, dress adequately. Listen carefully what the question is. This means just don't start talking, introduce yourself. Let the recruiter guide um, you through the interview. Answer in a concrete way and always give examples. That is the most important thing of this whole presentations. presentation. Please make sure if you state something, you have worked as a project manager, then say, I have worked in Beijing for this company of this and this name and this and this project, and also give facts and figures. Only then people can trust you. Do not talk long, but talk long enough. And in the end, if the company asks uh, you if you have some questions, then yeah, please be prepared also to ask some questions. So, um, I want to give another hint, not on the slide. Um, another hint is for the chatting now. It is very important. Uh, chats are a very um, fast way of communication. So please be prepared, be prepared to um, write very briefly, um, come um, up with the most important information in a very fast way, just like you communicate on WeChat. The faster you get the most important information through, the bigger the outcome will be. Try to be positive. It is fun to chat. Um, I also wish you a lot of fun in these uh, many encounters and uh, interviews and little chat situations. And um, please make sure to be very, um, very brief and up to the point. So that's already um, the very brief introduction about the application. I will be very happy to discuss with you um, at uh, uh, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, so we can meet there and then we can chat and uh, I can reply to all of your questions. So now I wish all of you a very successful and very nice and uh, yeah, very much enjoying virtual job fair. Okay, see you later. Bye.